It's supposed to be the summer, but because of nasty global warming, it's raining. It has been for some time, actually. Those of a green persuasion will blame it on global warming and therefore the automobile, you know, that thing that gets you from A to B in relative comfort without having to interact with other human beings. But there are alternatives to the normal nasty polluting automobile. You can have EVs, small diesels and even hybrids. And now Citroen has its own hybrid. There's a difference. It's diesel and it's very, very pretty. Citroen has paid special attention to making a car that creates quite the visual impression. It's unlike anything on the road at the moment and certainly continues the paradigm that big Citroens have to look just a little bit mad. And just look at the chrome detail along the bonnet, the concave flourishes on the rear lamps, the angles that just pepper the exterior. It's a proper looker, but to make sure it's a sensible car, its hybrid tech needs to match its looks. Combining hybrid drive with diesel power, in theory, means you'll get a million billion miles to the gallon and very few carbon dioxide molecules falling out of the back. Now, Citroen claims the hybrid 4 DS5 emits just 99 grams per kilometer of CO2 and will get 74.3 miles to the gallon on the combined cycle. Now, the system it uses uses a 163 brake horsepower diesel engine and a 37 brake horsepower Lecky motor. So in total, it's got about 200 brake horsepower. The interior is pretty special too. We're told that the interior design was influenced by aeroplanes, hence the switches on the roof. And if you close all the sunroofs and flip the heads up display up, you do feel a little um, pilotish. There are four distinctly different driving modes. You've got EV, auto, all wheel drive and sport. Now EV does well pretty much exactly as you'd expect it to. It's electric only for as long as you've got juice in the battery. Now auto, well, that basically gets the car from A to B as efficiently as possible using both a combination of the diesel and electric engine. All wheel drive, well, that uses both engines at the same time so you have maximum traction at any given moment. And sport, well, that uses both engines but the throttle response is sort of firmed up a little bit so you end up going very, very quickly. I'll tell you what, this thing can shift. It does 0 to 60 in 8.6 seconds, which is really quite impressive considering it weighs about as much as the moon. The only mode I really like out of all of them isn't, as you'd expect from me, sport. It's the full EV mode, and there's two reasons for this. It's fun to cruise around town not using any fuel at all, and it's the least crashy. Now, the reason I say that is because, well, the gearbox in here isn't spectacular. It never quite knows what it's doing. It likes to hang on to the gears for far too long. Now, you can have a DS5 with just a simple 163 brake horsepower diesel engine, like we've got in here, or a 200 brake horsepower petrol engine, which you get in the Citroen DS3R or the DS4. Now, twin either of those with a manual gearbox, and frankly, you'll be laughing. However, the DS5 isn't a car you buy because you care about ride or handling dynamics. No, it's a car you buy because you care about aesthetics. And thankfully with the Hybrid 4, you can care about aesthetics and mother nature as well. It really is, and I hate to use this particular cliche, a heart over head thing. Should you buy one? Well, probably not. Will you buy one? Yes. And you should put it in a museum so that other people can appreciate it too.